Oh, 30 seconds to camera, Gary. Oh, thanks, Chuck. You know that it's okay Come and celebrate another gorgeous day I don't know now I don't know now I don't know now I don't know now, don't know now. Welcome back to NL Now. I'm your host, Gary Weaselton. Now tonight is a very special night as, is, as it is our third season premiere. Yes, this is our third season on Rogers TV, so thanks to everyone at Rogers for giving us the opportunity for our own television show. And also a big thank you to everyone at NL Classifieds and Escape Quest for helping us out this season as well. Now, where this is the third season premiere, you may want to catch up on your NL Now episodes and go back and watch some previous shows. So if so, you want to do that, you can head on down to www.nlnow.ca for all our past episodes and guest selfies and contact information and all the fun stuff like that. And this season we have some great guests like the Drina Harvey Band, Fred Penner, comedian Colin Hollett, the Shanda Hopkins Band, and my son Weasel Tim will be doing a lot of his cool out and about trips this season as well so it's going to be a great year and I hope you tune in every week Sunday nights at 6 30 for our new episodes and right now we're going to kick things off and go right into the brand new NL Now studio with Fred Penner Sun will rise and the moon will set in the children's garden. Best friends since the day we met in the children's garden. Protected by a serpent king, a band of frogs who love to sing. I tell you now, the plays the play in the children's garden. Awesome feelings every day in the children's garden. Jump and run, swing and sway in the children's garden. A journey to the other side, something you have never tried. Through the water, down the slide, in the children's garden. Once the gate is open and the city's left behind, your Assiniboine pioneers, treasures you will find. Imagination comes alive, hear the sounds of life. A world of wonder waits for you, a prairie paradise. Plants and flowers smell so sweet in the children's garden. In this world you are complete in the children's garden. Come on in, stake your claim, pick a partner, play a game. Mother Nature calls your name. In the children's garden, in the children's garden, in the children's garden. Stay tuned to NL Now on Rogers TV for coming up after the break, we will have coverage from the 2018 Victoria Park Lantern Festival. Would you like me and the gang from NL Now to help cover your event anywhere in the province? 
send us an email at nlnowlive at gmail.com and we'd be happy to help you. Hello, this is Weaselton and welcome back to another edition of Out and About with Weaselton. Tonight, I take you to Victoria Park for the 2018 Lantern Festival. Come on, let's go. Bye. Welcome to Victoria Park for the 2018 Lantern Festival. I am Weaselton and I'm here with... Jackson Rose. Jackson, and how are you doing today? Good. Good, so are you having a good time here today yeah. so yeah. far? Yeah, yes. Yeah, are you going to stay for the parade? Yes. Good, sounds good. Well, have fun. Bye. Bye. Okay, here I am with Jeff from Avalon Expo. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. It's a lovely day. Yes, yeah, so what brings you to the Lantern Festival? Uh, well, I'm here to promote Avalon Expo so people know well it exists and hopefully go to it. Hey, great chatting with you today. Thank you, you too. Here we are again at the Lantern Festival. Hi, what's your name? My name's Tanner. Hello, Tanner. How are you tonight? Good. Good. So, um, have you had any? Have you done anything yet? Played any games or anything? Yeah, these games are pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. And I see you've had some cotton candy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, maybe go wash your face. Give me the cotton candy. Yeah. the very important man to this festival. So first off, I'm going to ask your name. Hi, my name is Jeremy Earl. Hello, Jeremy. So how long actually has the Victoria Park Lantern Festival been going on? Well, Weaselton, this is actually the 17th annual Lantern Festival, uh, but it's our 18th year. We actually took a year off a couple years ago, so, so okay. it's been going on for 18 years now. Cool. So how long have you been involved? I've been involved about six or seven years now, yeah. I uh, got involved uh, when my kids, who go to the day camp that this organization actually runs as well, my kids started to go and I started to volunteer and it just grew from there. Cool, so if people come down here to the Lantern Festival, what kind of stuff can they expect? Well, as you can hear already in the background, mm -hmm. there's music. Uh, we also have games for kids. We have a community booths during the day. Um, yeah, and we also have workshops going on throughout the day. We have a jar lantern uh, making workshop, uh, which went on in the afternoon. We have some yoga and some Thai chi. So there's a whole bunch of things yep. for people. And why don't you tell us about the fire show that's going to happen later on tonight? Ah, right. Well, the fire show, Weasland, is really, really going to be exciting. Mm -hmm because we have about 30 performers tonight for uh, the fire show. So it's gonna be the biggest production we've ever had. We have uh, fire eaters, we have fire jugglers, we have people with fire whips, we have some aerialists, and uh, yeah, we've actually, one of the big things we have this year is a giant lion. So oh. we, have, we have this lion that's gonna be part of it. It's a circus themed fire show. It's gonna be really, really great. Well, that all sounds great. Thank you for chatting with me today. Okay, thanks, Weaselton. It's a pleasure. Okay.
getting dark now, so it's time to light the lights. Want to make a guest suggestion for NL Now? Check out our website, www.nlnow.ca, in our contact information page, and you'll be able to send us in all your guest suggestions and also view some past episodes. Welcome back to NL Now. Here with me once again, I have the amazing Fred Penner. Hello, Fred. How are you today? Good day, Gary. I am well. Thank you. How are you? I am great. Excellent. So um, to start, how about you tell the viewers a little more about yourself, where, you're, where you were born, grew up, all that stuff. Ooh, well, that's a long story. I was born many years ago in Winnipeg, Manitoba, the middle, the center of this country of Canada. And uh, I'm uh, the middle child of five, five kids. I have an older brother and sister, a younger brother and sister. And I, I was yeah, born and raised, went to school at uh, at in Winnipeg and I started singing in choirs in grade three back as I remember and I loved to sing I had a pretty good ear so teachers were happy to bring me into their choirs and all through grade school all through university and high school I would find musicals operettas anything that had some music connected with it is what I would what I would do I had the music inside of me and I searched every possible opportunity to make music. That was part of my life. Very interesting. 
Now, um, staying on the topic of your lifelong career as a children's <laughs> entertainer, back in 1991, you received the Order of Canada for using music and song to educate young children. That's correct. Now, well, what was it like when you got the call saying that you were going to receive the order? I was shocked, I think, because it's not something that I ever thought would happen in my life. Mm -hmm. When, uh, as a performer, when I began performing, I did it because I felt good about the music. I liked the way that people reacted to me. I liked that I could bring an audience together singing songs together. And that was the, that's all I was doing. So over the years, as I got better and better at it, and more and more people liked what I was doing, until finally the, the government of Canada said, uh, hey, why, why don't we give this guy a, an order of Canada because he's doing such good work. So I was, uh, I was shocked and, uh, and my mother came with me for the, for the ceremony and that was probably one of the proudest moments of my life. Now also a few years <coughs> back you also got the Order of Manitoba. Indeed, the Order of Manitoba, the Order of Canada, I have a couple of honorary <laughs> doctorates. It's, uh, you know, it's interesting how people like to give performers things, you know, to, to, to show them that there's some recognition of their work and I'm, uh, I'm very, very honored to have been, been uh, g given those particular awards over the years. Pretty exciting. Now, can you remember the first song you wrote? The first song I wrote, uh, the first complete song mm -hmm. was probably in the, in the 70s. When I was growing up, I would, you know, make up little tunes and, uh, and, and sing sing them to my mom, but, but a total song wasn't until the mid-70s. And it was, uh, it was a story about, about a man named Andy and, uh, and, and how he loved, loved to sing and play music. That was the first song, way, way back in 1972 or 73, long before you were born, yeah. Gary. Um, so let's talk about your hit CBC show, Fred Penner's <laughs> Place. So the show aired from 1985 to 97. So how did you manage to get the gig of your own television series? That was just put into my lap. I'd, I'd been touring across the country. I'd been making music. I did my first record. The Cat came back in 1979. That was building up a good reputation. That led to working with a fellow you may know named Rafi. Mm -hmm. And I worked with Rafi for a number of years with his company that led to touring across the country. And unbeknownst to me, CBC was watching my progress. They were, they were coming to these festivals and seeing what I was doing. And then finally, after, uh, after four or five years of that, they came to me in 1985 and said, we like what you're doing mm -hmm. and uh, wondering if you'd like to do a TV series. And I said, are you kidding? I said, what, how, 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 how do I do that? And, um, and they said, what would you like to do? So they mm -hmm. put the whole thing into my lap, Gary. They, they didn't come with a concept. All they came with was an idea, was how about doing that? So I spent some time and I went, it went into my childhood. I thought about things that were important to me. And that led to, to crawling in through a hollow log mm -hmm. into the magical Fred Penner's Place. Now you produced more than 900, close to a thousand episodes of the show. I'm sure it must have been fun <laughs> on the set all the time, but can you think of any one moment or episode that really stands out to you? That's a very good question, and the answer is Mr. Dress Up. Mm -hmm. You may remember Mr. Dress Up. He had a TV program for, oh, my, I think about 30 years on, on the CBC network. And Mr. Dressup and I became very good friends over the years. And I performed on his television show and he performed on mine. And when he came, we, we did the show both in Winnipeg and Vancouver. And when Mr. Dressup came to Vancouver to perform on the show, as because he, he had been such an important part of our lives and all of the crew just loved Mr. Dressup, as soon as he came onto the set, everybody was could hardly speak because they, they, they just admired him so much. They were so honored to have him doing, uh, doing our show. That, that program was, uh, was one of the most exciting times and, uh, 
yeah, a very, very memorable episode. Thanks for asking about that. Now, you released an album last year called Hear the Music. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's all original material, songs that I've been working on for years. My own children, I'm, I'm a father of four, they sang on the album plus many, many Canadian icon players. People, m names you may or may not know, but I'll tell you anyway. Uh, Good Lovelies, Ron Sexsmith, Alex Cuba, uh, Tara Lightfoot, plus many, many others. These are young performers who, who I've known and met over the years playing festivals, and they're all such talented people. And, and when I said, would you like to be on my album, they said, yes. They all said, absolutely. And so we just put the pieces together and, and, uh, and, and went into the recording studio. And after many months of recording and mixing and the, that whole process, we came up with Hear the Music, which I'm going to do a song from that album, okay. in fact. So um, now we're going to play a little game I like to play with all my guests. Oh, it's called a Get game. To know okay. Me. So I'll ask you five questions, and you'll come back with the first thing that pops into your head. Okay, okay. I'm ready. <laughs> your favorite food. Sandwiches. <laughs> Any particular kind of sandwiches? Well, it, it, it used to be sort of, sort of meat and cheese, and now it's sort of morphed into more vegetable and uh, roasted vegetables with, with nice cheese on it, that kind of thing. That sounds good. It, it, the tastes change over the years, Gary. You may have realized that. <laughs> anyway, sandwiches, number one. Your favorite movie? Oh, my favorite movie at Christmas time. I love to watch It's a Wonderful Life with, with, uh, with James Stewart. You may remember that one as well. Your favorite place to visit or perform a show in in Canada? That's a tough question because mm -hmm. I've been to every corner of Canada. But my favorite place to be, Gary, mm -hmm. and this is something that you, that you can use when, when you're talking to people, if they ask you, what's your favorite place? My favorite place to be is right here and right now. And um, your last question, this one's a <laughs> bit of a longer one. What, where do you think your inspiration comes from when writing songs? My inspiration when I'm writing songs often comes from my own childhood. I don't start out thinking about that, but, but when, I, when I come up with a concept, if I'm ready, like many of the songs, on the uh, on the on the the new album, the Hear the Music album, I went back to my to my childhood and thought about things that were that were important to me when I was growing up, and feelings that I had when I was growing up, and and things that I see and what ultimately what I want to pass on to a, to another generation. And I think if there's things inside of me that are important, then maybe they'll be important to somebody else. So I, I go to my own childhood. That's where Fred Penner's Place came from, mm -hmm. is thinking about my own childhood and, and quiet places that I love to play in and wanting to pass that on to the next generation. Okay, well, that's a great answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, so um, right now, we are, Fred is going to go over to our musical guest soundstage and yes. get ready to perform a second song for us. So. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to close out the season three premiere of NL Now, <laughs> Fred Penner. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Awesome. All right, here's the title track from my latest CD. The CD's called Hear the Music, and this song is called I Hear the Music. Yeah, thanks a lot to Gary and NL Now. I hear the music every minute of the day. I can hear it all around me. I hear the music every minute of the day. I can hear it all around me. There's the clickety clack as the train goes by. Sound of a jet plane in the sky. A couple of dogs barking down the street, saying, Hi, how are you? When they meet a little bird sitting on my windowsill Singing a song, what a trill A baby and a brother laughing in the house Cats in the corner, quiet as a mouse Oh, I hear the music every minute of the day I can hear it all around 
around me. I hear the music every minute of the day. I can hear it all around me. Walking to the corner or standing still, my eyes and ears never get their fill. Maybe hot and sunny or a gentle rain is tap tap tapping on my window pane. Because the world is turning, I can feel the beat from the tips of my fingers to the soles of my feet. I love life and everything I do. It's all about the rhythm and the songs for you. Oh, I hear the music every minute of the day. I can hear it all around me. I hear the music every minute of the day. I can hear it all around. Sing it. I hear the music every minute of the day. I can hear it all around me. I hear the music every minute of the day. I can hear it all around me. Ba 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 da ba 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 Looking for more NL Now? Check out our website, www.nlnow.ca, for all of our past episodes, guest selfies, and contact information. Now, here's a look at what's going to happen next week. <laughs>